Let us pray. Let us pray to God, who is made manifest in Christ Jesus. And after the call, Lord, in your mercy, please respond, hear our prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the prophecy of Jonah, that you don't run away from runaways, that you give us second chances. Thank you, Lord, for a suitable apartment for a couple we have been praying for who are part of the mayor's spirit of sponsorship. We offer other thanksgivings to you this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As the prophet Isaiah rang out, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Come, let us reason together. Empower your church, O God, to shine with the true light of your Son, Jesus, who pierces even the darkest night. Grant that churches everywhere may work together for your glory. We pray for all people worldwide affected by the pandemic, that we may not lose hope, that we may continue in safety and pray for your mission to be accomplished in making disciples who make disciples of Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As John the Baptist guided throngs of people to the edge of the wilderness and baptized Jesus in the River Jordan, we pray that you would guide our country and our leaders to the ways of justice and righteousness. We especially pray for our Queen and the Royal Family, our former Governor General and her replacement, the Prime Minister, Cabinets, Premiers, Mayors and all who serve, either elected or appointed, and our role as citizens to live peaceably, to work for what is right. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As Jesus climbed the mountaintop and proclaimed blessings on the people of the world, we pray for the sick and the distressed, the poor and the lame, for those with COVID-19 and for those who minister to them and their families, for all in any need. Today, we especially pray for Carol Brown, Doug and Doris Crump, Wyman Whalen, Allison Stairs, Gus, Ivan Locke, Mary Aldridge, David Reed, recovering from cataract surgery, Rebecca Symes, Dorothy Kitch Churchill, Joan and John Steer, for children and young people, for teachers and parents and the stress of working from home, for those wor looking for work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As Jesus called his disciples to leave their nets and boats and follow him, we pray for those we love and who have answered your call to follow Jesus. As people gather on Zoom to ask the questions on their hearts during the Alpha Course, may you draw near and help each one find you and be found in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, light of the world, hear our prayers and make us reflections of your light, that the places of darkness in our world would be pierced by your light and that all nations would be drawn to you and be overwhelmed with joy. Amen.